Hi again, this is the third in my series of videos on heat embossing and in this video I'm going to demonstrate a technique known as emerging color. Again, it's a very simple technique to do. You're going to need to start with a piece of cardstock that you stamped. So you started out with a piece of white cardstock and you'll stamp several colors, images in several colors on it. And you want to stamp it fairly densely. You could even use a piece of pattern scrapbook paper would work for this technique but you want some kind of uh, vibrant color background. So I'm going to start out with this. You will need a stamp that has a large solid area. In other words, a large, as you can see here, this is pretty solid, this dark area here. And you're going to need a Versamark pad, a clear Versamark pad, because we need to stamp this in a clear ink. Okay, so you're going to first ink up your stamp here. with your Versamark pad and you're going to stamp your image on your cardstock and I know this probably is not going to show up at all because I'm stamping clear with clear ink okay and now we're going to use clear embossing powder and as I told you in my previous video um, for embossing powders that I use frequently, I like to keep them in these little tubs. It just makes cleanup so much faster. So you're going to bring it over, um, put some embossing powder on here, and uh, kind of flick off any extra that might, little stray pieces that might be on there. It's kind of hard to see when you're using a piece of uh, pattern background paper to see if there's any stray pieces. But I think I got them all off. Okay, let me set my powder out of the way. Now we're ready to heat that. And remember you want to give your heat tool a few seconds to warm up before you um, aim it towards your image just to keep it from blowing any of that embossing powder out of the way before the powder starts to melt. And you're just going to start heating your image. Just thinking maybe there's a way I can hold this so you can see it on camera. But when this embossing powder starts to melt, it's pretty easy to see because it becomes very shiny. So I don't know if that's showing up on camera. Um, the embossing powder is starting to melt. Make sure it's all melted there. If I tilt this toward the light, can you see that shine, a little bit of shine there where my image is? Okay, so the next part of this technique, you're going to need a brayer and an, a water-based ink pad. And again, I'm, I'm using a classic Stamping Up ink pad, and I'm using the color um, Rich Razzleberry. So you're going to ink up your... your brayer here. And you're just going to run that over the top. Actually, I'm bringing a piece of scrap paper here so that I don't ink up my work surface too bad. And you're just going to start inking over that whole piece of cardstock. And depending on, you know, how juicy your ink pad is, it, you know, might take several runs over the, with the brayer. But you're just going to keep applying that ink all to the cardstock. Probably should have re-inked my stamp pad before I did this, but you will get the general idea. So you're just going to keep rolling your brayer over there and get plenty of ink on here. Now you'll probably be able to see some of the other images in the back underneath the ink, but that's okay. Okay, I think I got enough on there for you to see the results. Okay, so that's what it looks like, and then you're going to need a piece of paper towel, and you're just going to wipe that ink off of the top of your embossed image, just like we did when we did um, Emboss Resist. So you're going to wipe that off, and there's the results. It's called Emerging Color. Let me show you a card I finished with this technique, and here it is. Again, simple technique, dramatic results, pretty easy to do, requires few tools and uh, you get some really awesome 
results with this. I hope you enjoy. Tune in again. I'm going to continue demonstrating some other uh, more advanced techniques using heat embossing.